Hi right, boys, welcome back to another video. So recently this guy asked me to backtest my strategy. So today I'm gonna to be showing you something called fractal price action, which basically means it's like something inside of something that gets smaller. So basically we're living inside of, it's like imagine a universe inside of a human. And that's just like, like, you know, like everything gets infinitely smaller, everything gets infinitely bigger. But yeah, let's get into the first example. So right here we're on GU. We're on the one hour chart and we can cl clearly see that we have a one hour for value gap right here and we also have this draw on sell side liquidity uh let's just say this draw right here this is your sell side liquidity this is a market maker buy model we take out sell side liquidity we're holding a bullish for value gap and you can clearly see that we internally sweep right here so yeah market maker buy model you look for a breaker structure past this high clearly get that right here and we got a 15 minute fair value gap right here this would be your first entry when it retraces into the 15 minute fair value gap targeting this draw on liquidity or this draw or whatever you want to target targeting these these fair value gaps over here and obviously you'd have your stop loss at this low so yeah that's the first example but now we're going to talk about fractability and look for the trade inside of the trade now if you're a bit confused i'll just show you an example but we'll just just remember that you've already taken one trade off this but now we start getting fractal so we know that we have a 15 minute fair value gap right here and i'm on the one one minute time frame right now and if we look at this model what do we have right here we're holding a 15 minute fair value gap and we've just taken out more sell side liquidity as well as we've internally taken out this low and this low but we have an original market maker buy model where we took out liquidity internally so we're holding a fair value gap then we have another market maker buy model on a smaller time frame holding this 15 minute fair value gap taking out this level of sell side we get displacement past this high right here this high gets displaced past with this big rally up price then retraces into these one minute fair value gaps right here and you could also say that this is a breaker block so we have a silver bullet inside of a market maker buy model and then that's your second position so if we scaled into the smaller time frames we'd have a fractal entry giving us two very good trades using the concepts of fractability i don't even know if that's fucking english or if that's even a word but basically we have one bias an original bias which is the market maker buy model on a higher time frame and then we scale down into the smaller time frame we've got another market maker buy model fractability there are infinite amount infinite amounts of models slash setups that can go on any time frame inside of models and these are my favorite type of type of trades to take when you have a higher time frame bias and then you have a small time frame bias as well that's what i think gives you a really high probability trade because as you can see right here when we scroll into the small time frame bias as soon as we come into this confluence it goes straight up there is there's literally zero drawdown after we fill this so it's going to give you super super precise super tight stop loss entries to give you good risk reward you're getting a three risk reward off that and this one you're probably getting a 2.8 but yeah that's how i use fractal price action to uh find the most precise entries possible and as you can see it rallies all the way up there that's one example of a fractal price action let's get into the second example now okay now we're on AUD USD, and we have a bit of a silver bullet set up right here so we take out this level of buy side liquidity and then we scale down into the smaller time frames and you can clearly see that we internally sweep this high we have a 15 minute break right here we have a 15 minute fair value gap right here and then we also have a breaker block right here now if we scale down into the smaller time frames to look for a fractal entry we can clearly see that we have this setup right here and now we're on the five minute we can clearly see that we got an internal sweep of this high right here we got displacement past this low right here and then we got a five minute fair value gap right here and then we also have a breaker block from this low that it created so we have a silver bullet inside of a silver bullet but yeah internal sweep right here we have this low right here which gets heavily displaced past we retrace into our breaker block and the five minute fair value gap we retrace into the breaker block on the fair value gap right here you press sell anywhere in here stop loss at this high 
and I actually did trade this on my um on my demo account. I made around four percent on a twenty five k account, which landed me over a thousand dollars. And yeah, that's that's how you could have traded. So realistically, you could add two contracts on this, or two positions, or whatever you whatever you call them. You could add one here with your original stop loss at this high when you first retrace into the breaker block, and then you'd add your second position when you get a a fractal entry we when when we get another entry on a smaller time frame which is the same setup so as you can see when we do enter similar to the previous trade we have minimal to no drawdown we just rally straight away price doesn't go anywhere near our stop loss or near our break even and it's just fucking the price price just dumps bro so yeah that is how i use fractal price action slash scaling into smaller time frames to look for really in my opinion really high probability trades which offer you really good risk to reward which also offer you minimal to no drawdown and like i just find them super super precise and yeah that's how i trade fractal price action if you guys got any more if you guys got any questions make sure to leave them down in the comments below and if you got any type of video ideas or, or concepts that you want me to go over in the future make sure to leave a comment for that down below but anyways that's the end of the video guys see you guys later peace